working with his jitters a lot, and that's been making a big difference. He's been learning when he gets startled not to go into flight, but to stay in command, whether that be a stay command or right now in heel. And then it gives him a minute to realize whatever that was he was about to run head over heels from was actually nothing he should have been running from. So he's going to build confidence because he's going to be able to actually see the things that scare him and realize there's nothing to be concerned of rather than just bolting as soon as he gets startled. So he's done a lot of work on that and it's paying off. Good boy, rascal. motorcycles and stuff that's a good place to take him yep Of course I wasn't filming, but he startled. That was, whole, that was the whole thing. He startled over the car. You see a quick movement, which would have been on day one or two, run away as fast as he can, but instead he laid down. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah. This is the perfect corner, honestly, because you get a motorcycle or a dump truck, makes that sound, wants him to startle and run away, you can learn to settle. It's a perfect day for it. Because we're not too cold out here for the duration. That was a good experience. And he puts himself in heel. I think the park's open now. Yeah. To take Jesse with that new floor. That was pretty good. Yeah, and look, his heel is so good, Josh. Yes. It wasn't always, though. No. I just thought that was so cool that once he startled, you know, instead of bolting, hopped in place and then laid down. So he used the down as a coping skill, right? And once that's in his vocabulary, to use that in these times where he's stressed and startled, we're going to see a dog who's going to build confidence because he's going to be able to actually see the world happen around him rather than, again, startling, running away, and never actually observing that the thing that startled him was something that he didn't have to be afraid of, right? So I'm seeing him feel better already. He looks good. Nice. There's the beep. last year. Let's be careful. Here we go. I was working with him before. I had done a lot of work. 
work, that would have sent him into flight. You know. You know, so and we're talking survival flight, not just not just casually running. He's gonna go run for his life. <laughs> just because something boom, you know, made a bump noise. A truck that was like a mile away, you know. Uh, one of the experiences that I noticed was uh, when the quarry, we have a quarry by our house and it does an explosion every day at noon. And that went off and it's, you know, it's, it's like a muted bang. It's not like sharp, but that happened and that sent him into running away. I had a leash on him so he didn't make it, but um, we can't have that happening out in the real world or even in our lawn. Oh my. Nice out, everyone's outside. Oh yeah. So yeah, so he's chosen, he's choosing, he's, when he startles, he's using the commands, given the context, so he'll use a command for a coping skill. So when we're walking, when he startles, he'll put himself back in heel in order to get through the situation. When we're standing around talking, he'll put himself in a down. You know what I mean? So, um, this gives him something else to do other than run. Now, we punished the running, right? So that went away, and then we gave him something else to do. And once we prove that that works, he uses it, it's now his new response. And then we get a dog who's a lot less stressed because they're not on the edge of fight or flight. They're just chill and just submitting to the situation and happy to follow.